Hey guys, and welcome in to the crew. You may be wondering why I'm looking at a Dodge Challenger at the moment. Well, because I wanted to show some of the new features and some of the awesome features that they've added to the game since I last played it, and also some thoughts I have on the game as a whole. Um, this game is beautiful, and as you guys can see, I am actually fully in control of this camera that's going around right now, and it basically allows for photo mode. Um, and it's one of those small little things that they've added and have worked on that I absolutely adore. If you guys can see there, there's actually rain droplets on the camera as I pan across. And also you can see on the bonnet, there's little droplets of water, which is just beautiful. Um, so if we unhide the UI, I want to show off a few of these small little features and then just drive around a bit. Um, but you can change the time of day so I can have it completely nighttime and as you guys can see the reflections on the ground are pretty nice um, the rain effects you can even see the little droplets of rain coming down and those all have light refraction on them which is just stunning um, so if we make it about 12 a.m. 12 p.m. there and then make it sunny as you guys can see, the sun is out and uh, it looks a lot cooler, looks a lot nicer. The game looks beautiful. They've upgraded the engine for this back in, I think, November, um, and it just looks stunning. Um, and this, this is just absolutely beautiful. So, my thoughts on the crew, it's severely underrated. Um, I'm going to be honest and come out and say it, it is. Uh, the game came out early last year, I think. Um, to kind of mixed appraisal, uh, people, some people really enjoyed it like me and other people didn't, um, and it's a shame because the game does what it does very well. Um, the, the game in terms of how you drive and the handling and everything else is absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're going to jump on into the car here and um, actually get in here and I can show you what it's like in game. Now, when you go into photo mode, as you saw there, um, basically, when you go into photo mode, um, it, you can then change, obviously, the weather, but that doesn't stick with the actual game. Uh, because this is actually an MMO of sorts. Uh, there are actually other people driving around in my world. Um, so if I was to... Hang on, here we go. If I was to hop out into the world map, you can see right now um, that... Uh, there is actually someone over here, um, Jojo Nye, and there's also Fahers5. <laughs> uh, and as you go through the worlds, uh, you'll basically be put in different scenarios and have loads of other people that will be in those certain areas. And yes, you can drive from one point to the other. So you can drive completely from the top, uh, Portland or Seattle, all the way down to beaches of Miami and it takes a long time it's not something that you do quickly um, you can fast travel if you've been there but to be honest always drive because the driving in this game is absolutely fantastic so you can see my hands on the wheel right now and you can see him slowly wiggling the wheel and that is actually quite realistic because of course when you're driving the car does not always track directly straight the car is always pulling to the left or pulling to the right very very slightly and the fact that they animated his hands to bring the wheel around a little tiny bit just immerses you so much more and if you notice his right hand is actually on the gear shifter right now so if i don't get to a point where he needs to change gear he won't lift he won't move his hand so his hand right now is down ready to change gear for me so if i was to accelerate there he goes, he's changed gear and he's pulls his hand back up onto the wheel and then he puts his hand down again to change gear again. And that is absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. It's it's so it's such a small little detail, but it's something that they did which just immerses you and makes you go, wow, that is awesome. Um, the handling is amazing. The graphics are great. When it rains, there's little puddles that form on the ground and it's it's beautiful. As you saw on the photo mode, it's pretty stunning. Um, so there's a cop car there. Uh, the last little thing I wanted to talk about today was cops. I'm going to be doing car chase videos on this at some point soon. Um, but the police in this game are really good. Um, the only problem with them is they don't 
appear very often. And as you guys know, or may or may not know, I absolutely adore courage lasers. And it's the main reason I play this game, because the idea of being on the run in somewhere like San Francisco or Chicago recreating the Blues Brothers is possibly my life's dream. So the fact that the cops don't spawn for at least 20 minutes at a time, it can be up to about 20 minutes, I've actually had to wait for a police car to randomly spawn, it gets annoying. Um, so what I could suggest, if anyone from the crew is watching this, um, then if there was some form of police call system, maybe if you could just press a button and it would call up the police. Like, if you call 911 in GTA 5, the police will actually turn up. And that's just a benefit from people like me who just enjoy making car chase videos, because we want the police there. Um, also, if there was a wait ability, like in Skyrim or um, Fallout, where you could go, right, I want to wait until it's daytime and it's sunny. Um, just because I, I prefer having car chases in the day. Um, that's personally my preference. So something like that would really add to the game. And it would make it almost perfect for me. Um, just in the fact that it's almost perfect as it is. And that those little features could add so much more. So do I recommend the crew? Yes, I am going to be saving up and getting the World Run DLC because, as I said, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, I kind of fell out of it. I kind of got burnt out um, just because I played it so much. Um, and I'm back now, finally, to play it. And I just love the handling in this. Look, it's so smooth. I am just gently bringing round the analog stick. And you see the back end of the challenger came out because the challenger is beautiful. Um, <laughs> I, I love this game. Just, just keep, keep at it, guys. Just keep at it. It's, it's amazing. Um, I'll be doing car chase videos soon, and I'll be hopefully uh, sharing those to the crew to hopefully get on their website because they're amazing. The crew, just go follow them on Twitter. The Twitter, uh, their Twitter is really good, and they respond immediately. They're a really good community team, so go follow them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look into why I think the crew may be one of the best video games in a long, long time. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, but until next time, that's me, out, bye guys. <laughs>